Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my another makeup review. So into this video, I'm gonna be talking a lot about mascara, and that's what I'm gonna be reviewing in this video. So into this video, we're gonna be talking more and more about this Rimmel Wonder Volume Thrill Seeker mascara it's a drugstore product and this is the box this is how it looks like here at the side of this packaging it mentioned bold volume wigless feel creamy whip formula clump proof smudge proof 82% agree lashes look longer the box is so beautiful and the packaging inside is so wonderful as well so it comes in a kind of like maroon color right here it's in the code extreme black they have one code for this one and it retails for 49 ringgit and 90 cent so so excited to try out this i haven't opened up the packaging yet i really want to do this with you guys if you're new here i'm natasha harashid i do makeup reviews makeup tutorials and lip swatches video if you really really want to keep up with my content please do hit that subscribe button down here it's so easy and please please do ring a bell as well so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos okay back again with this mascara so this is how the real packaging looks like i really really love the color i really attracted to the appearance of this let's take a look how it looks like inside this is the shape of the applicator it reminds me of l'oreal lash paradise it has kind of the same applicator just like this okay what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see how the formula looks like how it end up on my eyelashes so yeah i'm not doing anything with my eyes today so what i did just now is just yeah full makeup without any eye makeup on here okay we are so close right now let's curl up these lashes Did it mention that it is waterproof? It just mentioned that it is smudge proof but it doesn't mention that it is waterproof or whatsoever. Just have faith with this one. I am really really taking my time to curl up these lashes. Okay, let's take up this new one. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, let's do this and apply this right away. A little bit nervous, yeah, every time. It has kind of thin formula. It separate my lashes evenly. I told you. Okay, a little bit smudging on this eyelid. Okay, for me, it doesn't do good. I have curled up my lashes, but it didn't go up. You know what I mean? Let's do on this one. Okay, clearly this is not waterproof. It's not waterproof. See what happened to my lashes there. It didn't go up. It didn't. It didn't. Oh, okay, relax, relax. It didn't mention anything about curling. Instantly disappointed with this. It didn't do any good with my lashes. I have curled it up with the curler and this is what happened. I agree that it is clump free. It doesn't clump at all. But yeah. Pretty sad about how it is not curling. It doesn't do anything with curling effect. It mentioned that it has whip formula. I'm not sure what does it mean by this. Maybe it's kind of creamy. Yep. But I don't think it's good for me. I don't think so. Okay, let's see if it's dry instantly or not. Usually for non-waterproof mascara, it really takes time to set. So I rasa macam ada basah sikit. But it's dry actually right now. Okay, this one is dry. The formula is very thin as you can see right here. I really really hoping the best for this one because I saw a lot of good reviews about this mascara. Maybe it will do well for those who have originally curl lashes but not for me. I think this is not for me. I don't think it will look good if I curl it more but I will give it a try. So this one has dry. I'm gonna curl it one more time and see how it end up on me. Okay, this is life. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Okay, let's try this one more time. This is the second layer. It tends to get clumpy when you 
apply it for a second time so be careful with it all right okay so that's what i get that's the effect of second layer so you guys can see the difference between this and this it's thickening just a little bit let's do this one more time for this part okay my verdict for now i don't like the application for the first layer like i totally didn't like it quickly and right away applying this oh my god i got mirror So that's the difference if you want to know waterproof mascara and non-waterproof mascara if it is waterproof it's fast drying but for non-waterproof mascara it really takes time to dry oh my god i don't like this it didn't do good i'm like what not good for me i'm so sorry i did a second application on this side and this side but this is what i get and see how messy it is on top of here like it's easily smudged let's do on the lower lashes usually for lower lashes i don't have a really big deal with it i really don't have a big deal when it comes to lower lashes because it still look the same it doesn't need to be curl or whatsoever okay so it gives enhancement on my lower lashes so that's good okay you know what i think i'm gonna do my full makeup right now i'll be right back with you guys Okay, I am loving my whole makeup today, but I don't like the product that I review in this video, which is this one, this mascara. It didn't look good on me. Like I'm 100% sure of that. And I have to use my other favorite of mascara. I am so sorry. I really want to make this work on me, but it didn't. It didn't end up well. So yeah, I have layered it with the second layer, but it still didn't work. I have curled my lashes again, but it didn't go up. So am I disappointed? Yes, I am. How I wish that I could hold the product and post it to you guys, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. It doesn't work. Totally doesn't work on me. Yes, I am 100% being honest with you guys so you guys can see how well it looks like. So if we have the same situation in which we have a very flat looking lashes and you still want to go for this one, I cannot recommend it for you guys. If you have originally curled lashes, which you don't need to do anything with curling effect or anything, so you can just proceed with this one, okay? Yeah, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. This is what I get from the whole review and try on. I hope you inspire with this and probably this will be enough for you guys. Okay, so thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for listening to me from the beginning until the end of it. This is just my full thoughts, my impression, my first impression on this product. So if you guys have uh, your own opinion on this product, please let me know in the comment section below. You guys just need to know that I am not trying to hate the product so much, okay? I really want to make it work on me, but it didn't work. I cannot recommend to all of you guys only for a specific person just like I said before if you love this kind of video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and please do subscribe to my channel as well okay so I'll see you guys in the next video take good care of yourself stay safe and I'll see you soon bye